Now what I'm going to do is uh, actually put the set screws in while the tire is inflated. Um, I found it's a lot better to pre-drill the holes. Of course, you don't want to drill it too far, you get into the tube. Um, put a small drill bit on the end here, and it's about 3 sixteenths of an inch long, and it's at least short enough to where it's not going to go all the way into the, you can see it there, but certainly not uh, long enough to where it's going to get into the tube. You want to make it that short. I had to cut the uh, length of the bit off so it wouldn't stick out too far. It's the only way to do it. Do, don't try to do it by eyeballing it. Okay, I put a uh, Allen wrench on the end of this screwdriver. Now I'm going to pick up one of these set screws and put some glue on it. Doesn't take much, just a drip. So all the deeper that you want to have it, just out just a little bit. Uh, these are some that I put uh, some Gorilla Glue on and screwed them in and I rode about uh, 10 miles on them. Still a little bit of Gorilla Glue uh, leftovers there, but they hold a lot better with the glue in there versus plain. Some of the other ones um, actually would uh, come off uh, after going on uh, this type of Gorilla Glue. Does swell up, but boy, it does stick. Of course, that glue will wear out. Okay, the uh, test screws that we're using, you can see this or not, it's uh, number 632 by a quarter of an inch. Uh, I got some longer ones, but that's kind of what they look like. They aren't very big. These have the points on them. It would be better if I got a cut point, which wouldn't keep uh, going back into the tube. This is a uh, tire that we're starting out with. Uh, this is not a real deep tread. It's, it doesn't have a lot of knobbies on it. So the, I think that's a quarter of an inch, you really don't want a set screw any more than a quarter of an inch. That's about all you have for rubber there. And any further than that, it's going to get into your tube. That's, this is the what it starts with. And then when we're done with it, look at it kind of at an angle. You can see the set screw is kind of sitting out there. I put them every inch. There's uh, 89 of them. You know, theoretically there should be like 75 for a 26 inch wheel that has one per inch. Not sure why these are more than that. Yeah, this is what I'm using right now. This is a front wheel. I've got uh, 50 studs. I don't call them studs, I call them spikes. On this one, you can kind of see the profile. Back wheel has 100. I only run uh, five pounds in it. What's important is that we're going to, we split a tube here. The tube goes on the inside, and so if those set screws would go through it all, they got another sixteenth of an inch to go through, and this will help protect that tire. Uh, like I said on my other one, I actually left another tire on there. That's a little bit heavy, and that's because I have screws on it. I can kind of pull it out underneath, and you can see the screw heads. These screw heads will if I didn't have this tire on here, they would wear out the tube in a matter of an hour. I have just used uh, a split tube like this, and that lasted a good three months. The other thing I do is I use uh, cornstarch or baby powder. Baby powder would be better, but I don't have any. It doesn't take much, just a handful. I'll just let it kind of work its way around. There's already some on here, so I probably don't need that much. Here's two, and we'll just uh, kind of paint it on here. Mm -hmm. 
There's my wrap tube. You can actually put two of them on there if you ever had a problem. Okay, we've been riding nine miles on cement, and we'll see what kind of wear we've got on these. You can see they've kind of rounded off on the edges, so we've got some decent depth on it. They still work. Those first studs were installed without glue. I had lost about 5% of them on an 18 mile bike trip on city streets. What I failed to see was that there was a section where several in a row dropped out, and that is why here at the end I slipped. Uh, after that, I added another 80 screws, and this time they were glued. And after 20 miles, none of them came out. These studs are not perfect, and they will wear out because they're steel, not silicon carbide. They're good for occasional ice, but I wouldn't recommend them for extended travel on ice. For that, I use the spikes. Thanks. For serious riding on ice, I use my big fat tire studded with one half inch number eight lath screws. You can see this on a previous video done in, I think, 2013. These are screwed in from the inside out. They're absolutely great for ice. They absolutely won't slip. On long stretches of pavement, they slow me down and they will wear down pretty quickly. That's why these set screws are a good alternative when only occasional ice is encountered, which seems to happen quite often this time of year. Thanks for listening.